What's up guys? We just got to Green Hill Shopping Center. This is where all the fake stuff is. So uh, we're gonna walk inside and check it out. Kamusta mga Jaycationers and mga Ubesh. In today's video, we're going to explore Green Hill Shopping Mall in Manila, Philippines. And we're going to talk about the Changge. Now, Changge in Tagalog translates to flea market in English. So this is one of the most popular, if not the most popular uh, flea market in the Philippines. It's called Green Hills Shopping Center and it is one of my favorite places to go at least once every time I visit the Philippines. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you get updates of my newest videos. On one of my final days in my trip to the Philippines, me and my parents went over to Green Hill Shopping Center and we went bargain shopping. One of my favorite things to do. Stay Stay tuned until the end of this video and I will give you my top 5 tips on successful bargaining shopping at Green Hills. For those of you guys that don't know, Green Hills is the bargaining capital of the Philippines where you can get a bunch of fake merchandise and a lot of other things for really cheap. And uh, yeah, I love going here and checking out the jerseys. Let's see if they have a LeBron jersey. I doubt it. What's up guys, we just got to Green Hill Shopping Center. This is where all the fake stuff is, so uh, we're gonna walk inside and check it out. When you first walk in the Green Hills, you'll probably walk through the luggage section. Now, in this section, you'll find knockoffs for Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, you name it, they have it. They have different classes of the knockoffs, so like there's a class A, class B, class C. You'll just have to ask the people that own the stalls that sell these things which has better quality. In the past, I've actually bought a few things here. I've gotten this Louis Vuitton suitcase. Check that out. I've never really used this thing, only for storage in my garage. Now, it still works, and it actually looks really cool, and I got it for a pretty good deal, so yeah, I like it. Now, you can see all this rust, but that's because it's in like the garage. One of my favorite pieces that I've bought from that section was this money clip, which I eventually lost Granted, it was like three or four years later, but it was a money clip that a guy put a lighter to it and it didn't even light on fire and it was like unscathed. And that really impressed me, so I bought it and it really worked out for me. I just lost it and if I still had it till this day, I guarantee you it works. I also bought a bunch of wallets that I never used. Like I got this Burberry wallet right here. Looks real, right? I mean, almost. I mean, you can tell the difference if you actually know um, how a real Burberry wallet looks like, but here's another one that I got. This one has like a zipper in the middle where you could put change and this one is just one of your regular card wallets. And this is actually a Louis Vuitton passport holder and you can also put credit cards in it, but check this out. This is my real Louis Vuitton passport holder which is like $600 and this is the fake one. And you could definitely see the difference. Um, there's a Louis Vuitton Paris right here and yeah there's nothing there i got my passport in here and my initials engraved special thanks to my best friend jace this was his best man present to me thanks brother fake real and lastly i also got this louis vuitton wallet too um never used it's really stiff actually i usually buy this stuff just to have it for fun but i don't really like using it another thing i picked up was this uh, louis vuitton uh, umbrella i'm not sure if it works so uh you guys are actually gonna see if uh, this thing's broken or not after maybe six, seven years of purchasing it. Let's see. Oh, snap! Yeah! It works, but how long it will work? Uh, that's for me to try out. It's supposed to rain this weekend, so let's see. I'm mainly here looking for some jerseys. That's it, just the jerseys. I've gotten some fake stuff here before and they haven't worked out. That looks like it fits you. I got two jerseys, two Laker jerseys for my dad and one for uh, Cito. It's like 600 usually, got it down to 500. They're not budging below that, so got it for 500, it's just 10 bucks, not bad. Now we're upstairs in the electronics area. 
This is where you get like your fake beats, fake cell phone accessories. I've done it in the past. They're no bueno. Get the real stuff. The best you can do is just buy like cell phone cases and stuff here. Just get some cheap ones for like a dollar or two. And uh, yeah, just protect my phone. So I just got like a cell phone case for, oh, it was like three bucks. Not bad. So up in the electronics section, you'll find a lot of electronics, cell phone cases, cell phones themselves, headphones, you name it, they have it. I just don't seem to trust getting fake electronics. I don't really like fake things. I just like going to this place and bargaining. It's fun and bringing home souvenirs that look real, but they're not. It's just funny to me. I eventually not use these things because they're just like sitting in my closet in the garage rotting away, but I mean, it's just fun. I end up getting them anyways. What I did buy a few years back was a Beats by Dre, and I think I got like a class A one. It actually works till this day. Here is the uh, Beats by Dre case that I bought. See, it looks real. This is, this is the real Beats by Dre case I have. And this is a fake one and I got like a light blue one to go with all my chargers gear at the time and this was before Bluetooth so uh, it needs a cord but and batteries it actually needs batteries but it works it comes with a really crappy cord so like the headphones jack cord might not work when you buy this but if you put a real one on it it actually works just fine and it still works till this day and I've had this thing for like eight years nine years I actually recommend it. If you get a class A one, you know, chances are it'll work. But I really don't use it that much, so maybe that's why it's lasted all this time. This is actually the case that it comes in. And it looks just fine. And look, it's still intact. After all these years, it's still intact. Buying a pair of Beats actually may be beneficial. I'm not sure about the Bluetooth stuff, if it'll work or not, but that's to your guys' discretion in buying it. Now, this is my real pair of Beats right here. And look, it's all jacked up. Yeah, it's just because I use it and uh, it's wear and tear. It's about time for me to get a new one eventually. Another thing I trust over there are phone cases. So I bought a bunch of phone cases. I bought a phone case for my new iPhone, which is like two bucks, but it lasted three months. So for $2, it lasted three months. It still might have been used if I took better care of it. Here are a bunch of different cell phone cases that I've bought through the years in Green Hills. Um, some I've never even used, like this one. As you can tell, it's for an old iPhone, but it's like brand new. It looks good, right? And I probably got it for like 50 cents to a dollar. So yeah, if you're looking for phone cases, cheap phone cases, head over to Green Hills and bargain down for it. You can get something for like a dollar or 50 cents. And yeah, if it breaks down, it breaks down, it's 50 cents. Also on the second floor, next to electronics, you can find the money exchange. So if you have foreign currency and you need to exchange it to Philippine pesos, there is a money exchange up in the second floor. As for me, I still had money, so I just brought it with me and took care of business. So in the very center of Green Hills Shopping Center, right next to the escalators, there's this roundabout area filled with stalls. These stalls sell traditional Filipino crafts such as your barrel men and other Filipino traditional items. I'll show you a few of the ones I got. They're a little bastos. Bastos means nasty. Yeah, I ended up getting them just because, once again, for it's and giggles. This right here is an ashtray of a woman, a naked woman, laying down, laying out at the beach or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment below, but I think this is a rice god, and I bought this rice god a while back at Green Hills, and uh, it's pretty cool, I like it. It's lost its feather up top, but it's still here. Lastly, a tong tong ashtray, slash penis ashtray. Yes, I said it, it's a penis ashtray. How can you not have that in your collection? I also have a barrel man, I just can't find it, but y'all know what a barrel man is. You know, you lift the barrel and surprise! Finally found a place that sold the old school barrel men. They're uh, one in a few nowadays. I got one. What the? Uh, how much? Um, what the? For what? For who? For my fellow Hershey. Yeah, Hershey. Ronaldo, 600 pesos. Got it down to 600. The one thing that I love coming to Green Hills for are the jerseys. Now, LeBron just had signed with the Lakers then, so it was not enough time for these fake factories to produce these knockoff Laker jerseys. 
but I was able to still find a Kobe Black Mamba jersey. I'm actually wearing this from my 2009 Philippines trip. What I like about these jerseys is like you spend like eight to 10 bucks on them and it's really hot in the Philippines so you're profusely sweating most of the day. And when I go to the beaches like Boracay, I like put it on a jersey and I wore this jersey there proudly and until this day, I still have fond memories putting this jersey on and walking down White Sands Beach in Station 2 in Boracay. Now, I actually want to show you guys my jersey collection that I've collected at Green Hills throughout the years. So Pacquiao's cornermen wear these uh, shirts during the fights. And I actually got this at Green Hills and it's signed by Alex Ariza and Freddie Roach who have trained Pacquiao in the past. And it's actually even got the logos and it's down to the T. You know, I never wear this. I actually should have this framed. But yeah, it's a really cool thing to have. It's actually got a Nike zipper. Now, this was the Kobe Bryant jersey that I ended up getting. The thing about these jerseys are they're a little stiffer than the real ones. And you can also see that the letterings are a little thicker. The font looks a little different. That's where you're gonna notice the knockoffs. But this one even has the Nike symbol and yeah, and it even has that Wish um, logo on it. Here's a Paul Gasol jersey that I got. Now, I was a big Ricky Rubio fan. I still am. Earlier in Ricky Rubio's career, I was a big fan, so I wanted to get his jerseys, and I ended up getting his Minnesota Timberwolves jerseys. Here's a blue one. Here's the black version of the Ricky Rubio jersey. Now, these jerseys, they don't actually have Adidas or Nike. They have like this symbol. I think this is the company that does manufacture these jerseys. But yeah, they're actually pretty cool and I like wearing them. Not all the time, I wear them sometimes. Now, I wasn't a LeBron fan until he wore the purple and gold, but I really like the color scheme of this Cavaliers jersey. And when you're in the Philippines, like I said, and you're sweating profusely, you go through so much clothes and it's so hot that you want to wear something like this with that sleeveless and that'll keep you cool because there's even nice mesh that will keep you cool. They even have jerseys that are pretty cool, like the Philippine style jerseys. Like this is a Kobe Bryant All-Star PBA jersey. And like, you won't find this anywhere else. I just really like it. And I like collecting it and having it in my closet. This is one of my favorite jerseys. This is one of the jerseys that actually inspired me to travel to Spain for the first time. I actually had the dream of wearing this jersey in Spain, which eventually I did in 2013. This is a Paul Gasol national team jersey. It's got the cool design here in the back and the San Miguel beer. So yeah, I really like this jersey. This is one of my favorite jerseys of all time. Now, just to give you an example, this is a real Spain national team jersey. I mean, it's a different design, a different year. The fabric is a lot lighter, and yeah, it's one of my favorite Pau Gasol jerseys, and I wore this to Spain too, back in the day. This is the fake Philippines jersey, and this is the real Philippines jersey. My mom got this at the Nike store in the Philippines a long time ago. No number, no name, or anything, but I still really thought it looked cool, so I ended up getting it. And yeah, this is a really nice jersey to wear every now and then. Also, D. Rose was in his prime back in the day, and I got this Bulls jersey. And I think like buying in bulk, that's what I did with the Ricky Rubio jersey, this Derrick Rose jersey, and the Philippines jersey, and the Pablo Gasol jersey. I bought them all at once. I probably got it down to 350 Philippine pesos each instead of paying 500 pesos. That's you know, $1.50 off of each jersey. So it's still cool, you know? You're still buying things for under 10 bucks, and it's fun. That's what I like about Green Hills. It's a fun time, especially if you love shopping and you love bargaining. What is also big at Green Hills are the knockoff shoe sections. And they actually have some pretty decent knockoff shoes over there, um, depending on class and price and everything. But growing up, I've always wanted the Jordan 11 Concords and they just never release and like maybe 10, 15 years ago I bought a pair over at Green Hills just for the fun of it and I wore it once and I kid you not my feet were killing me. It comes in this box. So the soles obviously yellow eventually through the years and yeah here it is. Now it looks nice aesthetically. It even comes with this card that shows like a bunch of the Jordans that are retro through the years and uh yeah, I wore it once and my feet hurt like age. Now in 2011, the real Jordan Concords came out and I actually got myself two pairs. I kept one pair to wear and one pair not to wear and keep on ice. And this is the pair that is on ice. So we're gonna see if the sole yellowed. This is the real Jordan Concord. I never wore it. The soles did yellow, but it still looks fresh. Look like right here, there's parts that are fresh still. And yeah, this is a never worn Jordan Concord. Looks real because it is real. 
I also found out after I visited Green Hills that there's this hype store that sells Nike, Supreme, Jordan, and they have like close to the real thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's like this hype store that has, it's pretty expensive still. I mean, it's cheaper than the real thing, but like, yeah, they said that it's really close to like the real thing. So I think there's a YouTube video on it. There's also a Filipino snack section over there where you can get stuff like dried mangoes, different ube product, like ube in a jar, ube hopia, um, different nuts, and other Filipino snacks. All right guys, we're getting out of here. I only came out with a Ronaldo Portugal jersey, 13 bucks, not bad. Here is the Cristiano Ronaldo jersey that I got. Um, I got it for 600 pesos. I think they were trying to sell it to me for like 800, 900 pesos. I got it down to 600, I was trying for five. Mom tried for four, but they weren't budging, so we got it for six, I really wanted it. This is the real one. This is a different version, different year, but this is a real Ronaldo Nike jersey for Portugal, and it's got the Nike swoosh. As you can see, some of them do have the Nike swoosh, but this one in particular didn't have it. It's a nice jersey to rock every now and then, maybe from the gym and back home. Along with everything else that they sell, there's also a jewelry section which I really don't know much about. Sorry, I can't really talk about that. They also have an extensive sunglass and eyeglass collection and they're really cheap. I can get something for like three or four bucks. In the past, I got ended up getting these knockoff Oakley glasses. Now, they're not prescription. I have LASIK surgery, but they look pretty cool and every now and then, if I wanna style up, I can wear these uh, with some outfit. If I wanna look a little smarter. One of my favorite pairs of fake glasses that I've gotten were these clear light blue Ray-Bans. They're just, I never really see these and when I was uh, going to Las Vegas and I wanted to look funny and hang out and have that swag, I'd put these glasses on. I call them my grimy glasses. Hashtag grimy glasses. Finally, as promised, I wanted to give you my top five tips to successful bargain shopping at Green Hills in the Philippines. Number five. Browse around the entire Green Hills market before you buy something. Most of the time there are stalls that have similar things and similar product. You can actually end up finding something cheaper at another stall. Now some of these stalls are actually owned by the same people and they go back and forth and switch product. But maybe you're getting somebody that's gonna give you a better deal on that day because they're in a better mood. Set aside two to four hours for browsing around the entire Green Hills mall. Now if there's something that you see and you have a feeling or a gut that you're not gonna find it in any other stall, go ahead and buy it. Because if it makes you happy and you feel like the value you're paying for it just satisfies you, just go ahead and get it. Because it might not be in any other stall and then you're just gonna be disappointed and you're gonna be roaming around pouting because somebody else bought whatever you wanted. Number four. Beware of your surroundings. Now, I actually feel pretty safe at Green Hills, but sometimes when it gets really crowded, some of these aisles around these stalls get really narrow and a lot of people come through, and somebody can really just swipe and pickpocket you, whether it's your cell phone, your wallet, your money, or items that you just bought. Just be aware that people can actually pickpocket and take your stuff, so be careful. Number three. Only take out enough money for your next transaction. So let's say you're about to walk into a jersey shop and you're about to buy a couple jerseys and you probably thinking that it's gonna cost you anywhere from 1200 pesos to 1500 pesos. Well, just take out like 15 to 1600 and put it in your pocket. Now what I usually do and what I would recommend to you as a tip is buy one of these security money pouches. They're slash proof and they hide right under your waist so you can put it between your pants and yourself. And and obviously, you're gonna know if somebody's touching you in your private parts. I always use this, I put all of my money, like if I come there with like 10 to 15,000 pesos, I'll put it in here, and then as I go, I'll go to a corner where nobody can see what I'm doing and take my money out and put it in my pocket. But I'll also have my hands near the money and near my pocket so that I know that the money is still there. And if it does end up getting swiped, guys, like it's what, five, 600 pesos, it's still a lot of money, right? But if it does end up getting swiped, at least it's not the entire amount of money that you brought with you. Just a heads up. The way I do this is, you know what, easily, boom, goes around my waist, snaps right here, I tuck it in, and bam. That's where my money is. It's right here. Nobody can come right here. Eso es lo que dice él. That's what he says. Damn it. What I do is when I need money, I'll, you know, I'll go to a corner and I'll be like, boom, 
take out the money, put it in my pocket, and then I walk around with my hands in my pockets like that. Now, if you have zippered pockets, even better. You can zipper up your pocket. It's a lot safer to have zipper pockets. Numero dos, dalawa, two. Be respectful and be playful to the sellers. Now, some of the sellers over there give you a poker face, straight poker face, and they know exactly how much money they're gonna take from you, and they're gonna know how low they're gonna go. So some of those people won't budge, but most of the time, if you're nice and you play around with people and you have a good personality and you actually show positive vibes, those positive vibes are infectious and the seller might actually wanna sell you something for a lot lower than they usually sell things for. And when I say be playful, I kind of play around with the sellers, especially the ladies. And I'm like, oh, maganda ka. Um, I use po to be respectful, which, you know, po in Tagalog is a way to be respectful to your elders. And I use salamat a lot and I say please a lot. And if you don't know how to speak Tagalog, maybe learn these few terms. But if you don't want to learn these few terms or don't know, just use please and thank you. Filipinos understand English. And most of the time over there, if you're just really respectful, they'll help you out. Numero uno, isa. Number one, bargain down and buy in bulk. Now when I say buy in bulk, when you go to a stall and let's say you're gonna buy a bunch of basketball jerseys, if you're gonna buy like five to six jerseys, this seller knows that you're helping them out and they're actually gonna cut you a better deal. So the more things that you buy of the same thing or the more things you buy from one exact stall, the better deals you're gonna end up getting because you're gonna be spending more money and actually giving them better business. Now when I say bargain down, I usually come up with a price in the middle that I feel like they're gonna meet me at so I bargain down really, really low, and then if they're just like, oh my god, they're appalled, and then they start going down more, like eventually they're gonna hit that middle mark that in my head only I was thinking about, and that's usually how I end up getting my deals. And I kind of play around. So those were my top five tips to a successful bargain shopping experience at Green Hills Mall in Manila, Philippines. Just outside Green Hill Shopping Center on the Outer Banks, are restaurants and fast food joints where you can get food if you're hungry or if you need a snack. So take your time when you're at Green Hills. Maybe use like half a day. Um, sometimes you can take a taxi over or you have a private driver take you there. But take your time. For me, it's a tradition to go to Green Hills and actually just have fun with these things. I don't even use these things that much. I, this is the first time I put this jersey on. So we're starving. Just walked into CPK, surfing turf pizza. <laughs> So we just had lunch at CPK, headed back to Rockwell now. That was Green Hills. Didn't really, I couldn't really record like doing the Tawad stuff and bargaining down, but I explained it to y'all. So uh, yeah, so that's Green Hills. That's uh, what you call Changge in uh, Tagalog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Do you ever go to Changge? Do you ever go to Green Hills? Let me know. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about bargaining or Green Hills Shopping Center, please comment below. Do you have any experiences bargain shopping at a flea market in the Philippines, anywhere around the world, or even at Green Hills? What's your favorite product that you bought? Was it successful in actually working? Did it work out for you? Or was it like a fake that just broke down on you right away? Comment below and let me know. All right guys, mabuhay Pilipinas, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey.